think for me a CEO is somebody who can who can help coordinate the vision of, or at least the formulation of the vision of the company, and then build the confidence in the team to actually realize it. I don't believe the CEO, in the most conventional sense, is somebody who is in charge of the company. I feel the CEO is responsible for getting the people who can run the company to actually run the company well and run it efficiently. Um, if I was not a CEO today, I'd probably either be a footballer or a musician. Actually, musician, I love making music. I'm, I'm a self-taught music producer of sorts. I had a record label uh, for the better part of two years. I just love music because I think it's an expression of, of one's individuality. We could learn the exact same song, the exact same chords, but how it manifests itself um, shows who you truly are. I'll use an analogy from West Africa. In West Africa, they say that one lives two lives. So they say that you live a life you live the life that you're in right now until the point that you die. And then you live a second life after that. And they say that the, the length of your existence in that second life comes from how long people talk about you. That the day people utter the last, your, your name for the last time is when you die in that second life. Um, and most West Africans live for that second life. So everything they do now is geared towards being remembered. And that comes down to legacy. But for me personally, it's not even about the remembrance of me as an individual, but it's about the investment towards people. I know, and some of the things that I've, I've seen even through my, some of our work, like we have certain things that we have done and created that have gone on to help so many people that don't even know my name, don't even know what I'm, who I am, where I've been. But for me, it brings me satisfaction and joy to know that I can build, I can build things, I can, build, I can do things that inspire, that impact people in such a manner. Persistent, yeah, persistent. When you start to look at yourself in the big picture, when you start to look at yourself beyond yourself and beyond your desires, beyond your own wants, beyond your own uh, preferences, you start to realize that you are part of a much bigger picture and that the role that you play can really impact uh, not just yourself but so many people beyond you. Um, and it's your responsibility to take everything that you have learned, everything that you know. Like for me, the fact that I love music, the fact that I love playing sports, the fact that my style of leadership is, cannot work with the conventional approaches to... to I'm, I'm, a very, I'm a very outgoing, friendly individual, and it's very hard for me to be that tough, um, very strict boss. So it's taking that individuality and finding ways to maximize it to be a better leader. And I think the sooner you understand who you are, is the sooner you'll be more effective in, in, in leading the people that you have been entrusted to lead.